I was going to take a wild guess and say the fridge door is not opening because of the buttons there. Is that the case? The, uh, well, no, it was. It, it just it was getting caught up right about there. You know, it's not... Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Making headway, we've turned a lot of our attention to the tiny bus because I'm supposed to be taking this to Lake Tahoe, California. I was actually supposed to be leaving today, but um, we've got some work to take care of on it before it can hit the road. So we're putting in another piece of sheet metal here. And I wanted to show you guys what we're doing at the top is we're using these bus screws to kind of hold uh, the top gutter ledge down onto the sheet to make sure our holes are properly lining up but it's a very awkwardly large space. So you have to sink a screw into a top hole and pull it tighter. This one's pretty close. I may be able to actually just catch this one. Yeah, you, you tell him, man, you tell him. This is a trick I, I learned myself. Wes definitely didn't show me anything. This is a left-hander trying to screw and record at the same time with his right hand. And it worked out. Dang, you're multi-talented. I'm multi-handedness. <laughs> Hopefully it'll... Uh, then use a hammer and smack the big pieces out of the other one. Hopefully it'll rivet it down nice. Wow, this is a terrible line. Don't do it like this at home, kids. In fact, if you're a kid, don't be doing any of this actually maybe it's a little dangerous not to discourage kids from doing what they want to be doing in life but maybe have adult supervision i should have adult supervision <laughs> supervision we're i'm all, an adult we're all kids at heart a lot of work another panel up another long day this last week just been working like a dog but we need to get these buses out we actually have two buses coming in this next week one of the buses that were scheduled to come tomorrow broke down on route to us, so it's gonna push them back a full week. So we're gonna have two buses in here working simultaneously on them in order to push them out uh, to keep up with our schedule. So it's gonna get crazy ahead. While Richard and I got up this next panel, Wes was working on the layout for the front here, working on the curves. And so we'll end up tackling that soon. If everything goes to plan, I will be taking this tiny bus across country to Lake Tahoe, California, 23 hours away from here tomorrow. So I won't be in the shop, but I know the guys are going to be getting a lot of GoPro footage while I'm not here. Hopefully you can capture some bits and pieces. Look at them. Everyone's hard at work now. Great job, team. It's almost 6 o'clock. We're taking it. It's the end of the day. is cutting out windows from the inside. <laughs> Nailed it. I would have timed that nicely if I had realized you were there. <laughs> Things are changing every day. Rolling with the punches, going with the flow. Starting to finish up putting, uh, cutting holes, I guess, for the windows. We usually cut those out flat on the ground, but uh, Wes made an executive decision to put the panels in place. And since he's really good with a grinder, he went ahead and cut out the windows. So Richard and him are getting those in place, and this bus is gonna be very close to finish. Hey. Hi, Richard. I don't know if you can tell, but my muscles are getting bigger. Yeah, it's a great shirt. Thanks. Walmart, 398.
I know the George shirts. Yeah. You can't beat them. For the price? No. no that's what I do too. <sighs> We're ballers. 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 You working on grinding some windows now? Yeah, Wes just cut these out, so I'm gonna hit the edges with this sanding disc and smooth out the edges, and then he's gonna start welding them up. Hey, look, he's using the water. Yeah, big news. We've got running water. We now live in the 21st century. Oh, I bet you that feels nice. Let's check in with Jeremy. Wow, it's incredibly dark in here. Look how good the sand is, though. Look, we hit the wire through the roof, and it comes off a little hole right there. Oh, we'll wow. Run it through the, the cabinet. Here. There's a drop down right there. And then down to down the power. To the power, yeah. In the dark. And it'll all be hidden. Jeremy just finished putting in the Max Air. I did. So I'm glad I captured it on camera. It looks great. We did good. Good job, Cole. I will say it is nice to have a fan in the bedroom area. Mm -hmm. um, they're really not that loud, but man, that airflow really helps when you're trying to sleep at night. I would recommend one. I wish I had one in my butt. That worked. I wish I had one in the bedroom that worked. You could bring hey, you one of these over, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll cut this one and move it that way. Just, I mean, it just has to go like freaking not even an eight inch. Oh, that sucks. It's just barely off. So I gotta move that over that way, and then we'll probably like these little welds are just they're still protruding up a little bit. It's keeping it from sliding in because I think it'll fit this way. It's just these welds are just okay. They're up too too much. I'll just move that that way. So each of the window frames get tack welded, and then Richard is coming through with the grinder, grinds it all off, and this is the very first window that we made a oopsie on but it's actually like the exact size of the window. It's kind of frustrating because the left side only needs to be moved like an eighth of an inch, so we'll have to do that to get the windows in. So big shop update today. You can see Rich moving stuff over. All this gear, which is mildly categorized Tools, plumbing, electrical, all this battleborn stuff. Flooring, water tanks, we're gonna move this all over the other side. We moved that bus over. You can see Zep7 out there. So this is the next bus on the list in terms of getting ready for the road. And Kevin is going to be taking over this spot right here. So this bus used to be right here. Gonna move all this over, make sure he has plenty of room for his carpentry, and then put all the gear over there. So this is now his spot. Crazy days. Well, we're really close to finishing this 40 footer. I'm actually just taking the downtime this morning to get some of the uh, caulk off the uh, rub rails, I think they call these. Uh, and then uh, also just clean up the uh, sheet metal. That way, uh, Wes just has to finish up a little welding on a couple points on the bus, and then we're gonna roll this out. This next week may be a little bit more lax for us, even though we've got all of these other things in the shop. Uh, the bus that's supposed to be coming in ended up breaking down in Indiana. So it pushed back their build a week. 
I may go ahead and get some more stuff of Richard's bus. Uh, you know, we've just been working on that here and there as we have time and availability. And honestly, we haven't had time and availability the last couple of weeks. So maybe we'll try to get his a little bit closer to his roof raise here. I have found this paint scraper to be my weapon of choice with getting caulk off of buses. It has this pointy end and you can kind of run it up the edge and break it away. And the flat edge really helps to start get it off. And then I just come back through with some lacquer thinner and clean up the edges, but that's what I've done all along this thing. So weird, so many different things. Fan, buggies, motorcycles. What are we doing with our life?